The engine is starting up. What's up, everybody? Jets Gary here, giving you my draft grades for every single pick that the New York Jets made in this draft. Here are my socials here. Follow me. Hit the subscribe button. Comment on what video you would like to see me do next. And let's get to it. At pick number 11, the Jets took Olu Fashano because of the trade with the Minnesota Vikings where they moved up to get J.J. McCarthy. The New York Jets selected Olu Fashano from Penn State. I'm giving this grade an A because of how bad and how poor our offensive line was last season. If you see my YouTube short that came out during the draft, I wanted a pass catcher at the time. But the way the whole draft went, I'm very glad that we went left tackle now and got one of the elite ones. We have our left tackle of the future now. Olu Fashanu is a very good pass blocker. He's probably one of the best pass blockers in the draft. But he needs some improvement. He still has a lot of things he needs to work on. He's 21 years old. He's the same age as Joe Alt and JC Latham who went above him. So yeah, I'm giving this grade an A. We have our left tackle of the future. So this is a great pick by the New York Jets. In the third round with the number one pick, the New York Jets traded up to get their wide receiver. They took Malachi Corley out of Western Kentucky. I am also giving this an A grade. This was a very good trade-up by the New York Jets to go get their guy. You saw the text with Robert Sala and Joe Douglas. I'll flip it up right here real quick. The Jets really wanted him through the second night of the draft. They were even trying to trade up for him earlier. So this was a home run pick. He's called the Yak King, which is yards after the catch. He is one of the best in this draft at doing that. So this was an excellent pick by Joe Douglas. He got his guy. He didn't have to trade up too far. He only gave it up like a fifth, I think, to move up. So yeah, I'm also giving this pick an A. Awesome job by Joe Douglas. They got the tackle and the wide receiver, which were two of the biggest glaring needs on this offense. With the next pick in the fourth round, the New York Jets selected Braylon Allen out of Wisconsin. I am giving this pick a B plus. He started very young and had a lot of production in Wisconsin. He's only 20 years old. He graduated early. He has running back two, potentially running back one potential. I'm giving this a B plus. Braylon Allen is going to be a really nice one-two combo with Brees Hall for years to come. The next pick in the fifth round at pick at number 36, the New York Jets selected Jordan Travis out of Florida State. This is my A plus pick. This was an amazing, phenomenal pick at this spot. The late picks, I think Jordan Travis was one of the better QBs. If it wasn't for his injuries, he was in the Heisman candidate. Probably would have been picked in the second or third round. This is excellent, excellent value. This pick was a great pick. Jordan Travis is going to be QB3. He's going to sit behind Aaron Rodgers and Tyron Taylor, two veteran quarterbacks that are going to teach him how to play the game. This is, this is a great pick. There's nothing else I could say about it. If Jordan Travis doesn't even turn out to be the QB of the future, this is still a great pick because at worst, I think he'll develop even into a future backup quarterback, which is what also this team would need for the future. And to learn behind two great veterans in Tyrod Taylor and Aaron Rodgers, this is, this is amazing. A-plus grade, Jordan Travis. And two picks later, the New York Jets selected Isaiah Davis out of South Dakota State. I'm giving this, to be honest with you, a C, C-minus. I'm going to go more of a C grade. This pick really had me scratching my head. Not that Isaiah Davis is a bad player or where the Jets got him was a reach. I think he's a good player. But now that we take an Allen, who is basically the same player as Isaiah Davis, a nice power back, this has me scratching my head wondering why they took another running back. Two picks later, now we have three solid running backs and we also have Izzy Abandaconda coming in. So I don't know what we're going to do with four running backs on this team. I'm giving this a C grade. Don't know why it was taken. Maybe he'll be a special teamer. I don't know. So I'm going to give it a C for now. Let's see if it proves me wrong. But I was still questioning why we took two running backs. With the next pick, the New York Jets selected Quantez Stiggers from the CFL. I am giving this grade a B. I like this pick because in the future, we're going to have to pay Sauce Gardner 
an absurd amount of money. So DJ Reed or Michael Carter probably will not be on this team in the future. And Quantes Stiggers could learn behind him for now. Chip on his shoulder. He has a very great story coming into this draft. He has a lot of production winning rookie of the year in the CFL. This is a great pick. Stiggers is still very young. He has time to learn. He texted, um, I think it was Odin, our coach, that he's going to get a Super Bowl. He wants to win a Super Bowl here. He wants to win it this year. Great chip on his shoulder. Excellent player. Great traits. I like this pick. I am giving it a solid B. And lastly, with the Mr. Irrelevant pick, the New York Jets selected Jalen Key out of Alabama, the safety. I'm going to give this pick a C plus. I don't see a lot of talented traits with Jalen Key. Often in his film, he was in great position to get interceptions. I think he's more of a special teams player coming in. I'm going to give it a C plus only because we needed safety. He gives us a good backup option. I do think he's going to make the team. But I'm going to make the team as a special teamer. I don't see him getting reps at safety. So I'm going to give this pick a C plus for Mr. Irrelevant Jalen Key. That's the end of the video. Um, putting all the picks together, my official grade for the New York Jets, I am going to give them a B plus. I thought this draft was very solid. It addressed a lot of the needs that we needed. So let me know what you think of each pick. Was I a little harsh on some players? Was I giving them good compliments? Let me know how you think the video went. I'm Jets Gary, and I'm out. Peace. Oh, yeah, stop.